Yes, and welcome back to another episode with myself. So I hope you had a fantastic weekend. So we're going to jump into uh, the Bitcoin price in just a second. We're going to analyze uh, some uh, TA. We're going to look at uh, an inverse head and shoulders pattern. And also uh, just to look at the last cycle and compare it with this cycle. So stay tuned to the very end uh, for that. We're going to look at Bitcoin uh, towards the end of this video. I just want to go over some... Uh, news about uh, the PPI uh, report, also uh, the altcoin market, Bitcoin dominance, and the whole market in general right now um, during the this spring going into summer. And people are getting bored basically at this moment. People are not buying, and that is one of the best opportunities to start buying up Bitcoin and altcoins. But we're gonna we'll go into that in just a second. So if you're new to the channel, please go ahead subscribe smash that like button, even the thumbs down button, no problem, it's great for the algorithm. Leave comments in the section below as well and make sure to hit that bell notification uh, to be notified when I bring out a video, which is normally Monday to Friday. I'll bring a, a video out looking at Bitcoin mainly and um, the altcoin, especially in AI uh, and uh, crypto gaming. So. Yeah, stay tuned to the very end. Remember, I'm, I'm doing a, a giveaway as well, so you can be uh, um, eligible for a, um, a Nano Ledger that I'm giving away. So as soon as we get to a thousand subscribers, one lucky person out of the thousand will receive a Ledger to keep your crypto safe. So all you simply have to do is hit that subscribe button. So it's free for you to do that, um, and that's it. So as soon as we get there, then one of you will be winning a hardware wallet to keep your crypto safe, especially during the bear market. You don't want to keep your, um, and that's for everybody, not financial advice, of course, this show, keeping your crypto safe. The best thing is to keep it on um, a hardware wallet. So before we jump into uh, the Bitcoin price um, and just yeah, reviewing the last cycle, let's just go over um, at the moment with the, uh, the US uh, inflation report is expected to shake crypto market. So the week ahead is shaping up to be another busy one for economic data and reports with key inflation figures due for release. But they will, but will they impact crypto markets? So I believe this is tomorrow. We have the, uh, yeah, it's Tuesday. We'll see the PPI. So the producer price index report, which reflects input prices for producers, manufacturers, measuring the costs of producing consumer goods directly affecting retail pricing. So. Let's see uh, what happens uh, tomorrow. Usually, if you're trading, just be careful um, when this happens. I know some uh, crypto traders, they don't trade uh, the day before on the day of this report and the day after because uh, of the volatility in uh, the space. I've seen it before where I've been in a trade, we've had the announcement and then my trade has been uh, stopped, uh, stopped out. Um, so just be careful if you're trading this. And then we have this uh, one tweet from Elon Musk, how the Federal Reserve works. It's a giant monopoly. I thought that was quite interesting and quite funny just looking at uh, Mr. Musk. So it's true that this year as well, um, sticking with you know the, the, the economy for this year, I don't expect anything big to happen in the economy. Uh, just simply the fact that we've got the US elections, which is a big thing. Uh, I, I mean, Mr. Trump, I saw a tweet today uh, a small video um, promising to cut taxes. So usually during a US election, we don't have an economic uh, disaster. It could happen, but I highly doubt it. They usually keep things quite stable, um, which is good for the market uh, because then uh, crypto will have uh, that explosive move to the upside. And I expect Bitcoin, if we don't have some sort of black swan event, I don't think we're going to have a financial crisis just yet my opinion, we're going to see it at the back end of 2025, 2026. So it gives us an opportunity in crypto um, to, you know, to get as much crypto as possible in this uh, cycle to make as much money as possible um, before uh, that happens. So yeah, that's just uh, one piece of news. So just be careful with uh, tomorrow, especially if you're trading uh, with the, the PPI uh, report coming out. So just moving on over to altcoins. So maybe you're not that interested in Bitcoin. You're, you're looking forward to the altcoins. And it's true, the altcoins make you more money than Bitcoin. Um, 
so maybe I don't know what coins. Let me know in the comments section below what coins uh, you prefer, uh, what you like. Uh, for me, it, as you know, uh, those that are watching my channel, it's AI and uh, crypto gaming. So the old coin market is poised for an explosive rally. Um, this uh, analyst is expecting that. We're going to look at the dominance in just a, a second um, and see where, when an altcoin um, rally or an altcoin season could happen. So there's three major um, indicators that we should uh, monitor according to this uh, analyst. It's a 20 day EMA, so that's the exponential moving average. We have the RSI and we have the Bitcoin dominance. So for me, I always look at uh, the Bitcoin dominance. Right now, the Bitcoin dominance is quite high. It's at like 55%, I think. Let's just go over and look at that. So yeah, we are at 55 0.24%, uh, which is too high um, at the moment. We've had altcoin rallies. Some people in the comments said, oh, but we've had altcoin season already. We haven't had an altcoin season yet. You will know what an altcoin season is when we see the dominance fall similar to like this. It's like a waterfall or a massive red candle uh, where we just uh, drop all of a sudden and then the altcoins absolutely explode. So an altcoin season is when you know, altcoins are, are, are jumping up 100% every single day for weeks on end. So that's an altcoin season. And you'll see your portfolio just 2x almost every day for a good week, 10 days or whatever. So that's an altcoin season. So what we're, what we're dealing with here, um, yeah, for me, we haven't had that massive uh, season, that altcoin season. So um, just looking at that, uh, we've got those three indicators. For me, it's that Bitcoin dominance. And right now, uh, Bitcoin is you know, taking up most of it. I mean, it's 55%. What's interesting is the index fear and greed, or the fear and uh, greed index, is at 52. So everybody's bored. People are losing interest in crypto. And that's what generally happens. People lose interest, and then all of a sudden, Bitcoin explodes, altcoins explode, and people miss out. So I am expecting a huge altcoin season to come quite relatively soon, maybe through the summer. I would not be surprised if all of a sudden, I mean, we've been in this uptrend um, on the Bitcoin dominance for quite a t quite some time now, all the way back in um, early January 2023. We've just gradually been going up uh, from 40% all the way to 55. So if we break this channel, then I do expect us uh, to come down and retest around the 50%. I don't think we're going to fall straight through because we've got quite a lot of support down here at 50%. Um, but if we do break the 50%, what's the, the best thing that I've mentioned before is that we come, we go down to the 50% level, probably bounce off it, retest, and then the best thing for me is if we come into the 40s. If we come down anywhere i don't think we'll go below 40 percent. i don't even think we'll touch 40 percent. probably 45 if we go as low probably as low as 44 percent. if we do drop all the way down there then we're going to have one epic altcoin season so if you're in alts then great get ready for that if you're dollar cost averaging which is probably the best thing to do again not financial advice you have your altcoins ready so that you're not chasing, you're not, you know, not FOMOing in when this thing happens. You've already got your uh, positions in altcoins, and then um, as soon as this thing falls, um, you'll be flying. You'll just wake up every day, and your portfolio will be uh, absolutely flying. And that's the point where, and I've gone through this. You, th you hold on to it a bit too long. So don't get greedy when you start seeing your portfolio 2, 3, 10x, 20x or whatever. Take profits as we go along. Make sure to break even. Take your One of the most important things to do is take your initial investment. I can't highlight that strongly enough. So take your initial investment, whatever you put in, as soon as you start seeing, a, especially a 5 to 10x, Think about it uh, and don't get greedy. Um, again, not financial advice. You do what you want. Uh, most of us lose uh, 90 or 90 percent lose their money anyway. So um, yeah, just be careful uh, not to FOMO and you know keep saying, "Oh, I'm going to take my money the next day, the next day, the next day." So just be careful. But the altcoin season is uh, fast approaching, in my opinion. 
maybe we see that in the summer we might have a DeFi summer again but in another category uh, who knows so um, jumping into just to finish the uh, the show with the the Bitcoin price so right now when you look at this chart let's look at the monthly when you look at the monthly chart um, let me just fit that there we go and zoom in there we go so are you bearish or are you bullish when you look at this for me I am very very much so uh, bullish um, I mean, yeah, just look how far we've come from 15K all the way to here. People are losing an interest. We've had this massive monthly red candle and people are, are thinking we're going to crash. I am expecting maybe a pullback down to these levels of 52K. The longer this goes on, I mean, if we go back to the, the I'll go to the daily in just a second. But if we go to the weekly, we can clearly see right now we've got this bull flag. I mean, it just stands out so well to me we've got this bull flag right here and this price target which i measured um last week gives us a price target of 80k almost so everything i mean bitcoin right now is looking extremely bullish that that's for sure um i mean yeah it's so strong right now it's holding up the only we have a lot of support at 60k the problem is we have that resistance level, that key resistance at 67K in my opinion. So right now, Bitcoin, it, the bulls and the bears, we don't, don't know which way we're going. We're just going sideways. We're forming this massive uh, bull flag uh, right now. But when you zoom out, I mean, I'm mega, mega bullish. I do expect Bitcoin to go way beyond 100,000 this cycle. Um, but I would not be surprised if we just continue to go sideways. I mean, we go, we've been going sideways now for, uh, let's go to the daily. Let's just see how many days we've been going sideways. It's like 70 days or something. Something stupid. And that's probably why people are just getting fed up with Bitcoin. Let's take that. Yeah, seven, yeah exactly. 70 days. I mean, it's bang on what I just said. So 70 days we've been going sideways, slightly down in this channel. And I mean, it's boring. So it's good for altcoins because... If we continue like this, then people are going to get really, really bored uh, with crypto, especially with Bitcoin, and then uh, jump into uh, more altcoins, which we could see a massive altcoin rally or maybe, like I said, an altcoin season. But having said that, Bitcoin, when it does this, it remains boring. If we go back um, in time, if we just go back to these levels here, when we, we were boring here, we had that pump up. Uh, we're quite boring back in 2023 and then uh, December all the way through to January two months we were really boring we did have that crazy move and then bam straight back down so when Bitcoin is boring like that people lose interest that's probably one of the best times to actually jump into uh, into Bitcoin dollar cost average into it uh, into altcoins because you don't you just don't know when it's going to pump um, that's the truth uh, personally if I'm being selfish I want Bitcoin to dump down to these levels these three levels I would love Bitcoin don't think it's gonna happen but I would love Bitcoin to go back into the 30,000 range as long uh, the longer this year goes on I doubt that will happen due to the fact that we're in that uh, parabolic that that um, one year bull run after uh, the halving even if we come back down to 51 52 K I'll be happy with that but if we do come down to these levels then uh, what's for sure i'll be putting in swing long positions i'll be buying up old coins left right and center in in uh, ai big data and in gaming that's for sure if we come down to these levels because uh, the old coins will take a massive hit um, 50 60 some 80 percent and that's probably uh, a sign to uh, jump in um one last time uh, for the for the um the, the parabolic run-up to a hundred thousand uh, and beyond so right now bitcoin it does look strong i mean we've got that bull flag uh, some of the indicators i was looking at the bollinger bands on the daily and uh, you can s maybe right now we're seeing them tighten up um, which is interesting if we get if we tighten up even more i think there is a symmetrical triangle pattern as well um, really closing up um, and then we're going to expect i mean the bollinger bands if we tighten up tighten up tighten up then it's a 50-50. We don't know which way it's going to go, but you just look at the trend 
the trend right now is very bullish um, so it will be slightly um, the indicator will basically if we've got many indications that we're, we're bullish then most likely we'll, we'll continue to go up so what I'm waiting for is this thing to tighten up and then um, we'll see a, a, a massive uh, explosion uh, in the price um, again Bollinger Bands are 50-50 um, uh, looking at that it's just that's why you have to look at other indicators as well to see which way we're going so right now for me um, well we've got that bull flag another thing as well uh, which a few analysts have been talking about is the EMA ribbons and right now we have bounced off. I mean, we're holding the 100 EMA uh, quite well, which is a good sign. Um, it's a really good sign uh, that this could be right now the local bottom. So if this is the local bottom, we've just formed uh, a higher low. So all the way down here, maybe this was 56K was the, the bottom um, back in uh, the beginning of May. Um, and then we could be right now having that reversal. So it's a good sign that we're bouncing off this. It's just we have to push past 67K to confirm the reversal. We bounce off the 67K and then we go up to our um, all time high again. So for me, again, we need to push past. And I've mentioned that a few times before in my videos, we have to push past 67K. This could be the local bottom. It's a good sign that we've bounced off it. But uh, yeah, that remains to be uh, seen. Let's see what happens um, in uh, the near future. So I think that's all I wanted to bring out on that. If we go back to the last cycle as well, let me just get rid of all these lines. And there we go. Uh, let's go back to the last cycle on the weekly. Okay, so this blue line indicates the last um, a halving event so as you can see we had a really boring period after the halving event for about two months uh, again it was like 77 days um, so right now we're 70 days going sideways. this was like 70 to 77 days so could we be gearing up for a massive uh, rally in the summer so if you remember the summer of 2020 we had that um, we had that uh, DeFi summer where uh, DeFi went absolutely crazy and we had a 35% uh, rally in the Bitcoin price before September where the end of August, September, we had that dump, that, that last, not dump, I can't call it a dump, we had that last pullback and then in October we just, you know, we went flying. Uh, we hit that 20K level again and then we just blew past it. So could we be seeing something similar this time where we, uh, we, well, we have been going sideways for almost the same period of time, maybe one more week of sideways uh, action, and then we have that uh, pump to the upside. Who knows, we could have a, a gaming crypto uh, season, an AI season this July and August. I'm expecting something big to happen uh, in the summer, but then in September we have that pullback. October, that's when the real fun begins in crypto. So if you're like me, maybe you're buying up crypto right now in the, um, late spring early summer and then i will be stopping um, i'll stop dollar cost averaging uh, into old coins this uh, summer for sure because there's just no point um uh, jumping into things i mean trading is different but uh, investing i will not be investing um probably from the beginning of august mid-august because then uh, we'll have that parabolic move to the upside so just going back to our um, here, let's just uh, have a look at that. If we continue sideways you know, for the next week, I know we just come down, what, let's say we remain at 62K, a 35% increase would take Bitcoin to just beyond about 84K um, this uh, summer. And we could see um, a massive altcoin uh, season as well. So. Food for thought, let me know in the comments section where you think Bitcoin is heading to this summer. If you think we're just going to keep going sideways, if you think we're going to go and touch these price points or we're going to explode similar to 2020 where we have um, an increase, uh, a pump in the summer, a pullback. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments. Let me know as well what you're buying, uh, which altcoins you're um, uh, buying up right now, filling your bags with 
ready for the next altcoin season. So that's pretty much it for today's episode. Thanks for sticking to the end. Remember to subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification, leave a thumbs up and a comment in the comment section below. You've got my affiliate links below to Bitflex and Bybit, and I will see you next time with another video. Bye-bye.